My beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and I'm here with a Twin Flame Soulmate reading for those of you in separation, no contact and we're going to look at the Divine Feminine Energies at the moment it's been a while so I have pre-shuffled the oracles because I use lots of different decks it saves time and we're going to clarify the energies with the tarot with the message um, I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support I really appreciate that and all the links are down below to my deck shop all my books, my poetry books are on Amazon. They're now all available in paperback as well as on Kindle, um, ebook. I have a Patreon starting at just £2 a month. And I have a Twin Flame um, tier called Love Magic Membership where you get a lot of first views and there are exclusive sometimes on there. And um, that starts at £4.50. And I also, my PayPal link, you've got the links there for my healing. I'm offering reduced healing sessions for £60 right now for the Compassion Key. If you check my website, it gives you more info. And also the link is down below to book a session. Okay, that was a lot to speak about. So let's have a look at the energies of the Divine Feminine right now. So we've got the Temple Path. So yeah, definitely 1 plus 2 is a 3. So a lot of you, maybe you found your soul tribe or your soul family or you're working on that. I feel you're definitely doing a lot of spiritual work. You're doing a lot of work on self, a lot of healing, maybe a lot of releasing, letting go of negative patterns and behaviours, um, becoming a new version of you, basically, and in a really good energy, like focusing on yourself right now. And we've got contract number six. So you're very aware that there is a soul contract between you and your masculine and six is the energy of love so it was destined that you were going to meet and you just want to put things you know you want to come to balance you want to come to some sort of uh, resolution with this connection and we've got woman holding a coin so we've got another six here so we've got six six energy and i feel divine feminine you've been focusing on your finances on your day-to-day um, trying to work, you know, get an income, build up your income, you know, whether it's through work or creative endeavours, really focusing on that to, to bring in some financial stability in your life. And we've got the angel of strength here, number five. So five is all about change. Yeah, I feel you've been through a lot of change in, in this period of separation and it'd be different for all of you. And you've found your strength. You've realised how strong you are. And you could be developing a connection with your angel team as well, or your divine team. That could be coming stronger right now as well. You could be really feeling more connected maybe to your guides, your angels. But also realising how strong this connection is. Because despite the time apart, you are still connected to each other. And the rest of rejuvenation. So again, we've got the uh, 1 plus 9 is a 10, which is a new beginning. So... Really, you're taking care of yourself, really, you know, taking that time out when you need it. Maybe meditating, you know, connecting with the divine, uh, connecting with your guides, doing that inner work. And allow, giving yourself that space to do rest and rejuvenation, you know, really listening to your body. And we've got victory, we've got another one again. So we've got an 11 come through here. Um, you want victory in your life. You want to succeed in your life. You want you know, everything to work out and your plans to work out for your highest good. So let's clarify this energy. So what can you tell us about the temple path? Yeah, we've got four coins. So yeah, definitely working on your coin, working on your finances, getting stable in life, wanting to feel secure. And we've got the star energy there. So yeah, definitely focus on your healing. And this talks about, you know, when you heal yourself your wishes can be fulfilled you know and you're you're manifesting that you're working on manifesting your desires and what's this woman holding a coin yeah we've got ten of fire ten of wands energy so there's been a lot of burdens in your life there's been a lot to deal with there's been a lot to overcome and you felt very burdened at times and this could be financial worries and constraints but you're coming out of that with a 10 that's the end you're coming out of that because you've been working hard you've been putting time and effort and we've got the eight cuts reversed here angel of strength so i feel that you want to move back towards each other you know you're feeling drawn back to your masculine 
um, after this period of, apart. And we've got page of water energy. So definitely you want communication. You want them to express themselves. And we did see that. If you look at the masculine, we did see they are getting ready to do that. And we've got the moon reverse. So you want victory. So the moon reverse is things coming to light. So I feel that you're going to get some um, clarification. And again, we saw that, you know, we saw that with the, the masculine coming forward. And we got the sun, wow. So we've got the sun and the moon here. So that's the masculine and feminine energies here. So I feel, again, you're balancing out your masculine and feminine energies. And you could be working on the shadow right now with that moon reverse. As things are coming to light, you're having more self-awareness coming forward. So what other energies? We've got grace. So I feel that you're really living your life through grace right now and energy. So some of you could be energy healers or you're very connected to energy. You're really tapping into the energy. Um, you could be very connected to your masculine. You know, you could really be picking up each other's energy there. And transcending. Yeah, you're transcending the past. You're moving past that. We've got a 2 plus 3 or 5 energy there. So you're moving, you know, you're getting over it, you're moving on, you're healing, you've been doing that work on yourself. And you're coming into a period of stability. You know, we've got the swan sign there, which is the twin flame sign. So yeah, another five energy. So we've got treble five here in the message. So yeah, there is a lot of change coming in for you, definitely a lot of change. And you're from that place of stability, you're ready, you know, from that place of stability, you're, you'll feel ready for change. And you're letting go of anything that no longer serves you. Um, you know, letting go of the past, letting go of disappointments, you know, really doing that in the work. And you are going to be coming into a phase of prosperity here in your life. We need for prosperity coming in and enlightenment. Yeah, I feel, and again, we've got the one energy. So there, there is a, the 11, 11 energy has come through here. So yeah, you're definitely enlightened or becoming more enlightened. And the truth is going to be revealed. You know, we saw that the masculine wants to come forward. But you're also seeing your own inner truth here as well. You're you're getting in touch with the truth of who you are. And we've got new beginnings. We've got another one. So we've got five ones energy here. So, yeah, definitely a lot of change. New beginnings coming in in springtime, which in the Northern Hemisphere with those daffodils is definitely where we're at now. We've got that new moon coming up in a couple of weeks. And there's definitely change. That's confirmation. And with the number one plus two, three, which is that collaboration energy. And you want to, you're coming into a time of more playful energy. You're coming into a time of playfulness and joy in your life. And we've got the number two, two, which is a very powerful angel number and talks about partnerships, relationships. And with that hummingbird spirit, you know, taking the nectar of life, enjoying it, you know, really enjoying the good times, having good times in your life so let's just clarify some of these energies so why is the grace energy there yeah we've got the magician energy so i feel that again you're very tapped in you're very aware of your manifestation skills and we've got energy yeah high priestess so you're very connected with your intuition you're very tapped in right now and you know you are aware of the energies here um, connecting you together and energies around you and you've been changing you know you're transcending you you know you've overcome a lot you've, you've been doing a lot of inner work on yourself yeah we've got six of coins energy so really coming into balance i mean we had that with the masculine as well very much coming into balance energy there you know balancing the negative and the positive and we've got the nine of wands so stability you know nine of Fire Nine of Wands is about, you know, again, um, not giving up, you know, determination, perseverance, keep going. And again, we've got star energy in there. So, yeah, definitely wishes fulfilled by, you know, you're just persevering, you're not giving up. And there's victory ahead here. Yeah, and we've got communication. So the truth is going to come to you. The truth is coming out there. And we've got prosperity energy there coming in. Yeah, again, you know, Ace of Coins. So, you know, definitely a new beginning in finances, a, a time of more prosperity. There could be a new job for some of you. There could be rewards coming in, unexpected income coming in. And you've got enlightenment, yeah, Ace of Fire. So you are very connected to your passion. You're following your passions. You're wanting that brand new beginning. You're following your passion more. And that inner truth, that inner knowing. 
and we've got the truth yeah we've got hierophant energy so again on that spiritual journey really tapping into your own inner knowing your own wisdom and wanting to commit in your life wanting to commit and wanting for some of your commitment in your life a, a partnership a commitment and we've got new beginnings yeah we've got devil energy there so there, there could be some devil energy around you know in the masculine region there was a lot of passion and desire so you could both be feeling that you could both be picking up on that why is the devil there yeah, we've got four of wands. So I feel there is definitely a passionate desire here to bring in this stability because it's under stability in this connection to move forward, to ground it, to build a firm foundation that could lead to a commitment. I feel you're both on in that. We've got change coming in. Yeah, we've got mo forward movement here. So your life is going to start moving forward very quickly. Um, and it, it's it's all destiny with the seven energy, I feel. And you're coming into a time of much more playfulness we've got the call we've got judgment energy so a reconciliation it de definitely feels like something you thought was over is coming back to life and this is going to bring playfulness and joy into your life i feel here what else can you tell us about that yeah we've got queen of fire so i feel this is your energy and you're stepping into that you know you're attracting a lot of attention you know you're you're in you know looking good and people see you as very sexy sensual uh very passionate very driven um you could have had some sort of makeover yeah we've got justice coming in divine you know another number 11 so yeah divine justice is coming in um here so this is you right now anything else yeah we've got messenger of water so there's definitely a message of love we could see the masculines really wanting to reach out and we've got the wheel of fortune so things are definitely changing here there is a movement forward as i say that new moon energy is very significant so let's look at some other energies yeah you're you're in an energy of peace you're feeling peace within yourself you know you've worked hard to get there to find that peace and we've got guilt reverse and we the masculine had that so i feel you know at some point there was a lot of guilt between you and you're both done releasing on that. You're letting go of any guilt, feelings on either side. And you've grown. You know, there's a lot of growth here. Your consciousness, your awareness of self, your healing. And again, you're tapping into the, the light side of life as well. That came out for the masculine. So very much tapping into the humour. And we had that playfulness energy, wanting to get into the light side. And have having that empathy for your person. You know, having that deep empathy and understanding that they were you know acting from where they were at at that time they didn't necessarily set out to hurt you and yes you're ready for change you want change in this situation in your life and you want the truth you want honesty so you're really being more honest with yourself you're being honest about who you are and what your needs and desires are so what are your offer messages yeah we've got intuition again so you're very tapped into your intuition you're you're really connecting it's very strong and you're using it more and more and you're following that guidance and self-expression. Yeah, you wanted to speak your truth. You wanted to speak up for yourself and assert yourself more. And I don't feel this is just in this connection. I feel in life in general, you're becoming more assertive, more um, outspoken, some people might say, but being more authentic, speaking your truth and divine consciousness, you're connecting to the divine. You feel in that connection through your crown through your third eye and you're receiving divine inspiration and guidance and we've got family so you number two energy so a lot of you at that age you're you're wanting to start a family you're wanting to settle down you're wanting to put down roots and i you know the masculine is wanting that as well uh, for a lot of you and you're wanting to build a family together you want you're ready for that and you're taking responsibility for yourself you're being in that energy of self-discipline reliability you're fulfilling your own needs and you're feeling empowered so you've done some work on your solar plexus which is the masculine um chakra so balancing out your masculine and feminine taking that responsibility and doing that work when you need to taking responsibility for yourself and yeah the crown chakra again so you know very connected very you know opening up to the divine to divine wisdom to guidance from your guides your angels feeling more connected and the heart chakra awakening opening again with the two two energy so we've got treble two sorry two 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 energy 
So a massive heart chakra awakening. Your heart is opening up again. It could have been closed off. You know, you both could have had closed off hearts. I feel it's a massive heart awakening, opening up to being the energy of giving and receiving love. And having compassion, having that self-compassion. And we've got another one energy, 2 plus 8 is 10. So having that caring and empathy for self, acceptance, gentleness for self. It starts with self. And then as we do that, it radiates out. We can be like that with others. And I feel the more you do that, the more you feel that for your masculine and others. So what other energies? This is the Island Wellness deck. So Duxon, so sure, you're really feeling, you know, like the masculine is essential energies. Something in the air, I think, right now. And you're feeling, you know, very attracted to them still. You want to flirt. You want to date. You want to seduce. You know, you really are in that seductive energy. Um, for some of you, it could be somebody new. You know, it depends on your situation. And we've got the new beginning with the coffin. So, yeah, there is a new beginning coming up here, definitely. And, yeah, your heart has been healing. You've both been healing your hearts. And as you heal, your heart is opening up again. And you want to talk to them. You want to have a message. You want to communicate. You want them to open up. You want them to speak your truth, their truth. And heart with the key. So you, you had the key. You both had the key to each other's locked heart. You both helped open up each other's heart. You're both awakening to this love within each of you for each other and your yeah, love. So this is unconditional love and it starts with self and I feel that you've both been doing that, loving on yourself and there's so much passion and desire and attraction for each other. You know, we're feeling that very strongly here. So this is my deck, he said, she said. So the feminine is saying, every night when I go to bed, I tell you I love you in the 5D and I want it to be in the 3D. So really still feeling that. Did you mean what you said about just being friends? Is that what you truly want? As if I'm honest, I want more than that. So maybe there's a friend si friendship situation or you went, you know, you separated as friends or you're still in friendship mode, but the feminine wants more. I did not understand our connection. I tried to deny it over and over again. So, yeah, it was very confusing for the feminine, I feel. I understand if you do just want to be friends. I'd rather that than not have you in my life. So, you know, really wanting that friendship, if that's all the masculine can give, um, but for a lot of you, we can see the masculine is, is wanting more than that. Um, but yeah, want knowing, you know, knowing where you stand. I want to be there for you, shoulder to lean on, someone to always listen. So really wanting to be there for them and whisper in my ear, what are you feeling now? So really wanting to know how they're feeling, you know, not sure, you know, unsure of that, you know, their feelings are running so deep. And they're not sure how the masculine is feeling because there's no talking for a lot of you. And hidden thoughts and feelings, Oracle. I want you to be mine, only mine. So really wanting to be, you know, the masculine to be yours. Like nobody belongs to anybody, but to be in a, a proper connection, a proper relationship. I want to be with you again. I miss you so much. I'm really missing the masculine. I get jealous when I think of you as someone else. Share yeah, again, a lower energy, but sometimes that's what happens, you know. You have strong feelings and you're not, not sure if they have dated anyone else. You're so sexy, so desirable. I want you bad, I want you now. So, again, feeling that passion and desire. And my feelings for you run so deep. So, really, it's not, ju not just about the passion. We can see that there's so much love here. And I have such passionate feelings for you. So, really feeling the passion and love and desire. I'm sure there's something in the air right now. So, yeah, beautiful messages. So I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love and blessings. Take care.